Hey guys, this is Nico, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the elephant in the room. I know your favorite Facebook ads gurus will never say it, they'll never admit it, because their ads are performing perfectly each and every day. They're just making millions. However, this is not the case for me. I had some very, very good days. I had some very, very bad days. Overall, I'm not the only one. Other people are struggling too. And in this video, I'm gonna share why this happens. I'm gonna share how I'm able to battle this, what measures I'm taking. And we're gonna go on Reddit because it seems like Reddit is the only true place on the internet. The post I'm gonna feature today is this post. This guy goes on Reddit and says, we spent five plus millions on Facebook ads, time to say goodbye. So what is happening here? This guy who runs e-commerce stores is quitting. Why is he quitting? He says, I'm an eight figure e-commerce entrepreneur making multiple POD stores, managing multiple POD stores. And I've been running Facebook ads since 2018. So this guy knows what he's doing. He spent a lot of money on ads. He went through a lot of ups and downs with Facebook ads because we all know the the crash with Facebook ads when the iOS 14 was introduced. So he says, my team and I have noticed a sharp drop in conversions since February 2024. Even if I'm getting one to two CPMs in the USA main market, he's still not able to make it work. He says, we're just breaking even now, whereas we used to have 30 to 35% profit margin. Is this the end of Facebook ads as a viable ad? platform for e-com guys. So I usually do info business stuff. I usually do online courses. I usually do services. I usually, I, I usually help agencies get more clients. However, I experienced a an increase in price of the CPM. For example, if a campaign costs me $25 per 1000 impression, if I open my ad account today, I'll show you that price goes to forty dollars. And right now, my I, what I think is happening, I think there are elections going on in the United States. And whenever there are elections in the United States, usually the cost per result increases dramatically. However, people experience this issue not only in the states. If you go on Reddit, you'll see some people run ads on Europe run ads in Europe, some people run ads all across the, the continent, right? And they still experience these problems. So this guy says that since February 14 this year, there was a sudden decline. And I could confirm that. I think on February 14, if you remember what happened, Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp, they crashed. So no matter what device you were using, you couldn't access, you, you couldn't access them, right? So here's, here's how people are actually experiencing uh, Facebook ads. Another guy says, same exact story as you, still trying to figure it out, shifted m over more to Google and emails, organic might be the move for now. When it comes to organic, what I wanna pinpoint here if you go on my YouTube channel, you see I'm making videos for almost three years. You see that I'm not like a big, big name. When it comes to like organic marketing, it usually takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. You you could go on Google, you could go uh, on YouTube. I'm getting good, good results with YouTube actually, but the problem with YouTube, you need to make videos. You need to be good on videos. In order for you to produce videos, it's a completely different workflow. You need to be testing a lot of videos until you get a video that converts. In some cases, you need to go through 30 to 40 videos to get YouTube ads going on. And in my experience, this is my personal experience, the products from Google, in this case, YouTube ads as well, take a lot longer to optimize. I mean, longer in terms of time 
and they're more costly. You need to invest more money into YouTube and Google Ads to see your return on investment. Facebook ads are fast. You optimize quickly. You optimize, I think right now is per 50 results, per 50 conversion. So it's crazy out there. It's crazy out there. When it happens to emails, you could do emails. Emails will be great. But this is like a backend marketing. You still need to to have a good lead generation. You still you still need to have a front end so this email list builds. I think for some of you it's gonna be a very good idea to start playing with email, start implementing email marketing, because what email will do, it will increase your conversion rate, it will increase your average order value. You can do cart abandonment, you can you can do different marketing automations and email flows that will help you actually get results. So emails, very, very cheap, very, very effective. Right now, if you go on the internet, the tool I use is called Brevo, brevo brevo.com. It was sent in blue. So you can start for free, basically. With the free plan, uh, you can send up to 300 emails per day. So you can go with email for like longer period of times. Uh, you can use it, I mean, for like long period of time until you got up to like a few flows implemented and a bunch of people abandoning your car. I think it's very affordable. I think it's very, very good. So check Brevo. Another platform I like is Active Campaign. It's more expensive. Uh, a lot of people will use MailChimp. I wouldn't suggest you use MailChimp because it's very, very expensive for some reason. Right now, I think the best features, the best money you spend and the value you get is actually Brevo. Now let's get back. There are some people saying, I think we need to step back and peel the onion. Is there problems with Meta? Yes, absolutely. Since February 14th, like you mentioned, good days and bad days, more bad than good. So were my bad, were my days worse? I actually had very, very good days. I won't lie to you. Why is there a problem? Apparently, they're working on integrating AI so it has better intelligence and algorithm. After iOS 14.5 changes, the data has not been been the same year after year. There's been less insight for machine learning and privacy is more of a concern. And this guy is right. If you follow Meta, if you go on the news, you'll see that Meta has a lot of privacy violation. They're constantly in the news about they being in the courtroom, etc., etc. Can Meta as a business sustain if this doesn't not get resolved? No, because they rely on ads to get revenue and profit. They need to make this work. The question is not if Meta resolves it, but when. But for many of us, it's hard to make it past all these inconsistencies and drop performances. Drop in performances. And this guy makes a very, very good point. He says that if Meta doesn't solve this problem, they'll lose a lot of money because they're the way they make money is through ads. If we are not satisfied with the Meta ads platform, we're just going to leave. We're going to go to TikTok. We're going to go to Google. We're going to go to YouTube. You're going to do email, organic, whatever. But Meta has no option but to make this work. So according to this guy, uh, they're trying to they're trying to figure it out. For now, what we can do is using our own audiences via email, social, utilize pl- platforms that are warm like TikTok shop if possible. What this guy suggests is to use your current customer list, right? So if you have a customer list, if you have an audience, you can leverage that audience. But from my experience, this audience will dry at some at some point. I have another call in like five minutes, 10 minutes. So, and this guy says, I believe this is the most logical and well thought answer I've reading, I've read regarding this problem. This guy suggests, I suggest looking onto to marketing on Next. Most businesses I know 
have generated more ad revenue in the past five months than ever before on any other platform. Snapchat has also been surprisingly fruitful. And this guy X and this guy says X for e-commerce. X is Twitter. Thanks Elon Musk for renaming it. I tried X. I personally tried X. I spent I don't I didn't spend much. I spent maybe like five to seven hundred dollars, but I didn't get any results from X. My end goal was purchases, so X didn't work for me. TikTok, this is not from my niche related. So you're not alone. If you are in, in a position where your ad campaigns are inconsistent, there are a lot of people who struggle with the same thing. So what can you do? What's the control you have? And here I'm going to read you a conversation I, ha I had with a guy. So... I'm in a group of entrepreneurs and I talk to this guy regularly. We discuss how our ads are doing. And he texted me yesterday and he said, my ads have crashed again. Reddit is full of people having the same problem at the same exact time. It's really frustrating. And he says, the annoying thing is it really feels like we can do much. It feels like the performance is completely out of my control and totally up to weather facebook has a good day or a bad day so we're in the mercy of the algorithm this is this is true so if you had something that was working let's say up to february probably this thing will work again if you give it a shot in some cases you need to decide if you consistently want to change up or if you want to focus on something that worked in the past and stick to it so you could get some good days. I know it sounds like very, let's say, I know it sounds like being on the defense, but this will be my advice. Focus on only things that worked for you. If you try something new, try not to allocate crazy budget this is regarding the facebook ads platform regarding on things what are in your control the first thing you could do would be to increase your conversion rate so the traffic you're sending to our website landing page funnel whatever try to increase the conversion rate try to squeeze every click try adding testimonials to the page try adding explainer videos try adding like I don't know, trust badges, whatever you want to, whatever you want to add, research what works for your niche and do it. But if you could boost your conversion rate by even like five to 10% to 20%, it's going to give you a huge bump on the long run, right? The next thing you could do would be to increase your average order value. People who buy, try to make them buy again and again and again. You could do this through email marketing. You could do a very small budget Facebook ads remarketing, but those are the most reasonable things you could do. Will Facebook fix this? I believe yes, because they have the incentive to do so. Regardless of what other people say, Facebook will be one of the most reliable platforms because even if it's unreliable, it still outperforms some of the other platforms, for example, in my personal experience, it outperforms TikTok, it outperforms Twitter, it outperforms, I have never tested, those are the two that it outperforms that I personally tested. So this was the video for today. Let me know in the comments below, how are your ads performing? What niche are you in? Let me know if you tried something that worked for you. Let me know how you feel about the whole Facebook collapse <laughs> thank you for watching my name is nico please go ahead and watch all my previous videos in order and i'll talk to you soon